The 2019 UCI Road World Championships are taking place in the UK. More specifically, a region in the north of England called Yorkshire, affectionately known as God's Own County. Yorkshire has some of the finest scenery and terrain for cycling and has established a firm place in the sport thanks to events like the Tour de France, the Tour de Yorkshire and now the World Championships. But there's much more to cycling in this beautiful place than just those events alone. Cycling is immensely popular here, so for the uninitiated, this is our handy guide to Yorkshire. Important information for when you visit. has the hardest climbs in the known world. Okay, that, that might not strictly be true, but God's own county is littered with short, sharp, brutally steep climbs. Like this, for example, Park Rash, 25%. But 25% is a ten a penny in these parts. One of the most famous is Rosedale Chimney Bank, a must for anyone visiting the area. It has gradients of over 30% and is an absolute killer. Modern bike racers haven't gone near it. It's been deemed too hard. But bike racers have all did, such as the Kellogg's Tour back in the 90s and 80s. Oh God. Now, these climbs might not be as tough as the Angleru, in Spain, that was very tough, but certainly harder than anything in the south of England or Lancashire. Definitely harder than anything in Lancashire. Oh, yeah. It's grim up north, but it's, but it's not that grim. On, honestly, I mean, yes, that bridge behind me on Grinton Moor did get washed away by a freak storm a week ago and is potentially forcing a route change in the World Championships. That's also what the noise is as they try and repair it. But it doesn't rain here all the time. The fact that it does is a myth perpetuated by people mainly from Lancashire. But in actual fact, other places in the UK, such as Wales, Scotland, Cumbria, Dorset, they have, and Lancashire, have higher annual rainfall. It's a it's a beautiful place. Riding in Yorkshire is hard. Now course profiles may look flat when compared to a mountainous queen stage of the Tour de France. But anyone that's ridden here, including professionals, will tell you that the reality is that they're anything but. The roads characteristically feature relentless undulations, often with short, sharp, nasty, steep gradients. And then that is combined with lots of technical turns and road surfaces, which are often very rough and grippy. And this results in long, energy sapping, brutal days in the saddle. And that's before you even factor in the weather, which to put it nicely is well, often inclement. Ooh. Yorkshire loves cycling. Every time a major race comes through here, the local support out on the roads is phenomenal. It's common for local village communities to organise street parties and every time the race comes through, everyone comes out and cheers it and you often see lots of yellow bikes and bunting put up in celebration. The atmosphere is awesome and the locals are always keen to showcase this beautiful region to the rest of the world. In case you haven't guessed it, I'm originally from Yorkshire. So first up, a quick language lesson for anyone visiting. This is Connor Swift. He's from Yorkshire. He's a cyclist and he's also a former national champion. Connor's gonna speak Yorkshire and I'll translate. Hey up. Greetings, hello. 
I'll do. How are you doing? It'll be right. It will be all right. That's going to get braid. You're going to get beaten up. Brew. Cup of tea. E by gum. Oh God. Gander. Look. Nout. Nothing. Twerk. Where Yorkshire folk go nine to five, Monday to Friday. Speaking of getting off to work, can I go now? I've got to get down pit. Yeah, yeah, oh, oh sorry, no worries, Connor. Cheers, mate, good to see you. Cheers, you too. Thanks. Ta-ra. ta <laughs> Yorkshire has fantastic cafe stops and the area is famous for its culinary delicacies. And if you're lucky enough to visit, you should try them all. Here is a selection. Yorkshire puddings, this simple delight is an essential ingredient to any roast dinner and is made from milk, flour and eggs. Good ride food too. Yorkshire ale, Yorkshire's home to some of the best real ale in the world and brewing it dates back to the 19th century. And the region is home to some of the biggest cask contained brands in the world, such as John Smith's, Tetley's, Black Sheep and Theakston. Lovely stuff. Yorkshire Parkin is a sticky ginger cake made from oats and black treacle. And it's typically eaten to celebrate the failure of Guy Fawkes, a Yorkshireman, and his failure to blow up the Houses of Parliament in 1605. Now being very calorie dense, it's also exceptional ride fuel. Wensleydale cheese, this delicious, iconic and creamy fromage is now protected by European name status, meaning that only Wensleydale made in Wensleydale can be called Wensleydale. It dates back to the Cistercian monks in 1150 and well, it's cracking cheese. In Yorkshire, we don't drink coffee, we drink proper brews, tea, preferably Yorkshire tea. Now a word of warning for you, if you've paid more than £4.50 for a whole pot of tea, a scone and a cooked breakfast, then you've probably fallen victim to tourist rates. Now, just for advice like that alone, you should probably subscribe and click the bell icon. Yorkshire has a rich cycling heritage and has produced multiple world champions. This landscape has helped shape some of the world's best riders and a few examples include well, Brian Robinson who was the first British Tour de France stage winner back in 1958, Barry Hoban in the 60s won eight stages of the Tour de France and since then we've had riders like Beryl Burton, Malcolm Elliott, Ed Clancy, Lizzie Dignan and more recently Tom Pidcock, the Tanfields and the Swifts. And lastly, Yorkshire is sexy. It, honestly, just, just trust me on this one, right? Hang on, bear with me. It, legend has it that in 2014, when Yorkshire was being considered to host the Grand Depart for the Tour de France, the general director of the Tour de France, Christian Prudhomme, was concerned that Yorkshire wasn't sexy. Now, upon hearing this, the organiser of the Tour de Yorkshire, Gary Verity, set about convincing him otherwise. In a bid to woo Prudhomme, Verity invited him over to the county and took him on a helicopter ride through the dramatic and beautiful landscape you can see behind me and along the coastline as well. I mean, he could have just shown him the title sequence to Emmerdale, but he did a helicopter ride nonetheless. And then this was followed by treating him to some of Yorkshire's culinary delights we mentioned earlier. He said upon finishing the trip, and just as he was heading back to France, Proudhon remarked, Yorkshire is very sexy. So there you have it, it's official. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your mates. I'm off now, because, uh, well, I've got to tend to my allotment and uh, take my whippet for a walk. <laughs>